Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Let's start with today's TA on this nice uh, Sunday morning. Bitcoin tonight had here a fantastic pump towards $9,800 currently is getting rejected from this area here and we're testing again this support down here of around nine thousand five hundred dollar so the big question is where are we gonna break out here from this wedge that we are in since a couple of days now because this breakout of this wedge will decide where are we going in the next couple of weeks and months most likely because a breakout here to the upside and also breaking here the main resistance of ten thousand three hundred dollar this should take us towards 14, 16 or maybe even $20,000 before we see any kind of correction or dump again. Because in that case, this could be just the beginning of a huge bull run towards $100,000 or $300,000 per Bitcoin. We are still far away from this uh, target, of course, but this could be the beginning of a big fantastic bull run that we were waiting now for many years already. So this could be the beginning of this run that everyone is waiting for many years already if you are long enough in the crypto space. The technicals are looking quite bullish so there could be signs that we could be just in the beginning of this big run but we need to break here this $10,300 with a lot of volume and also build a support above of that resistance so the previous resistance must become the new support and not fail because if we're gonna fail and we start to trade again below 10k below 9k we could be in for a massive dump towards 8k or 6k and consider also that we still have a lot of uh, longs compared to the shorts also we had a massive drop here in the hash rate so we still didn't see that effect here there could be still a dump before a big bull run but therefore we have to see where we're gonna break out from this pattern in case that we're gonna break out here to the downside so if we retrace back down here towards nine thousand dollar and not holding it then we could be for the maybe the last dump before a huge bull run for sure you want to be ready for both scenarios so make sure that you also have some fiat on the sideline just in case that you can buy back in some bitcoins for a very cheap price and even if we break out here to the upside you can go all in with that money if we break this 10,300 at this point it doesn't matter anymore that much if you buy now at 9,500 or at 10,500 once we're gonna break out to the upside so just be ready for all scenarios here so you should be fine so we can start now with the one hour time frame because uh, here after reaching this uh, top here where I see also the most uh, resistance coming in here we are now targeting again this $9,500 currently we are trading below the 20 moving average in the one hour so far it looks like that we could form this bullish pattern here so another falling wedge that if we break out again to the upside would take us again towards 9,800 and possibly test again here the main resistance the RSI is right at the 50 stochastic oversold and if we go over to the Bollinger Band here you can see that we're trading now in the lower part so we are now technically here in a potential drop zone so if we're gonna lose here this area here of 9500 we could easily go down towards 9k again we would still remain bullish but we could see this 9k retest again so if you are in an over leveraged long be very careful put a stop loss here because here we could easily drop again here towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band in the one hour here at 9,440, maybe even lower. MACD had a bullish cross here since we crossed here the middle area and now we are shifted to the downside but currently the 9500 is holding so far is all good and also if we go over to the four hour you can see that the 20 moving average once more it's exactly lining up with our support line here so only if we see a four hour candle closing now below 9500 dollar so below the 20 moving average in the four hour we could see a drop towards 9000 dollar again and retest the support that could be a good entry for a 
long or to buy back in some more cheap big coins in case that we really break then to the upside but if we're gonna lose here this $9,100 then be aware that we could drop again towards 8,000 and lower here the stochastic is coming down to oversold condition so we should in theory see a bounce from it although the RSI is coming very close to the 50 level we are in a critical point if we have a bounce here to the upside we could break here this $9,800 or at least test it again but if we're gonna drop here prepare for 9k and if we have a look also on the Bollinger Band here also you can see that we are right in the middle here so if we're gonna lose here this support the drop towards 9200 is pretty much inevitable at least 9200 to 9k also the MACD is going to have a bullish cross as it looks uh, so far so also this could indicate that we could see here uh, a drop towards uh, 9k and uh, even if we would drop here towards 9k or lower or have a big push to the upside and break here this 10k don't forget that we close the CMEs on 9495 so around 9500 and wherever we are going today we're gonna have a new future gap like we also had in the past and as you know by now almost every future gap gets filled immediately if not immediately then it takes a bit of time but it will get eventually filled the most of them are all getting filled so let's go back here to the bitstamp chart and let's open up also the daily time frame because here it looks a very interesting currently we are trading far from the 20 daily moving average which is here at 9240 so a retest of this moving average is very likely and i think it would be very healthy if maybe today we are going down here to test the 20 daily or test the support here of 9k and then have a future gap above of us so it would be better if during the weekend we see a drop so we can buy in or go long and ride it up to close the gap and potentially also break it here to the upside the rsi here is right at the 50 stochastic in neutral territories so also here is a bit undecisive and if we go over to the bollinger band here it looks a bit more bullish because here currently we are trading in the topper part so between uh, 9980 and uh, here the middle area of 9300 to 9200 dollar we could have a bullish cross here if you continue to try it sideways or pushing higher here so a bullish cross here in the macd could indicate that we're gonna fire it up to the upside and the break of this resistance here of around ten thousand dollar could also break that ten thousand three hundred dollar and like this also start the big bull run towards maybe even twenty thousand dollar to test the all-time high again and if we go to the weekly time frame here although still very bullish let's see if we can take out one of these highs that we had over here so if we can close this week higher than 9950 let's say we close higher than 10k this could really indicate a big start of a big run to the upside and eventually we will never see those low prices again and even if we would drop from here the 20 weekly here at 8230 should still keeping us to the upside and even if we would drop down here with the target would be towards six thousand dollar so also here this would be maybe the last chance to buy really cheap bitcoins rsi is here above the 50 stochastic is overbought that is a bit concerning but we can stay in this area for quite some time and also if you go over to the bollinger band also here still very bullish we are trading here in the topper area so between eleven thousand down to eight thousand two hundred so you see that $8,200 is a very significant level because if we see a bigger drop that price level should hold as a very strong resistance. It's not only the middle area of the Bollinger Band but it's also the 20 daily moving average a very important uh, moving average to keep uh, up and also the MACD here still shifted to the upside so also here in the weekly is still looking very bullish and we should buy every dip that we are seeing and remember if you want to trade this with uh, leverage if you want to trade these uh, big swings to the upside or to the downside especially if we're gonna break here this ten thousand three hundred dollar the move to the upside could be very very fast quick and you could make a lot of gains here even with a small amount of money if you go with leverage here long 
long you could do a lot of gains if this is really the beginning of a big bull run because like this not only your bitcoins would rise in value but also you would multiply your bitcoins if you go long if we have this uh, breakout and the same thing also to the downside if we get rejected here and we go towards 8000 or 6000 you go short and you can also multiply your bitcoins so once we're coming up again your bitcoins will be worth way way more and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if something crazy is coming up i will definitely go live over on twitch so make sure also to join the live streams over on twitch you find the link down below here in the video description also follow please the discord trading chat the chat is completely for free everyone is uh, welcome and if you still need an account over on bybit or femex for example where you can trade uh, bitcoin and other assets with uh, leverage you can use the links down below here that you find in the video description because with my links to sign up to those exchanges can give you some sign up bonuses and also some rewards on bybit for example you can get up to 90 dollars completely for free so definitely go down and check them out if you don't have an account already all right guys uh, leave a like if you like the content very appreciate uh, your support you're very great shout out to everyone also in the discord trading chat you're the best and uh, yeah subscribe to the channel and we see us all in the next one bye